On the ice, Canada has many hockey families. The Sutters, the Stalls, to name a few. But did you know one is emerging on the pitch? It's time to introduce you to Canada's first soccer family. Punched ahead and in the back of goal! And there it is! Dwayne De Rosario, MLS Cup champion and MVP, one of the greatest scorers for the Canadian national team. His legacy has been cemented. And even though he hung up the cleats, the Di Rosario name lives on, on the field of play. Osaze Di Rosario, the firstborn. He's following in his father's footsteps, coming through the Toronto FC Academy with a stint in Ukraine. The 20-year-old now plies his trade with York United in the Canadian Premier League. And then there's 17-year-old Adisa Di Rosario. He doesn't score goals, he stops them. He's opted for a life between the sticks. In the TFC system, he's already earned a call-up to the national under-20 team. Oh yeah, and then there's the young precocious heading into grade five, Tanash, who's following in Adisa's footsteps, wanting to live the life of a goalkeeper. that your dad went on to win MLS Cup. That was with San Jose. So it's almost like it was destined for you to be a soccer player because no sooner are you born, there's like championship vibes in your household. But what are the earliest memories you have even of your dad playing? Uh, my earliest memories of my dad was definitely in Houston, going to the stadium, going inside the box and, you know, watching my dad when I was like at least like five, six. And those are like the early days because he won in uh, Houston. Yes. And I really got to, you know, remember those times of him lifting a trophy and me walking on the field with him. So those are like my earliest days. Did you know right away, like, this is what I want to do too? Or, you know, did you just enjoy it through your father and think you wanted to do something else? Well, it just landed on my lap, I guess. <laughs> like, you know, you just grow up around the sport so much that you just say, I want to play, I want to do this. And then once you get to play and then you understand your own quality, then yeah, then. It was more like it just landed. He never forced it or anything. It just landed to me. Well, here's the thing. I mean, it's it's one thing to be a part of the soccer world. You know, you're with it because of your dad. Then you kind of get into it. But you have to be good, and you are. Like, at what point did you also realize, wait a second, like this is something I can make a career out of? Uh, I think it's when I scored against Palmeiras with New York City FC. That really opened up my eyes. You know, the levels. You know, maybe I, I can really take it to the highest level. Your dad, when Toronto FC joined MLS, he was so happy because it gave him a chance to play at home in front of family. And in many ways, the Canadian Premier League is now doing that for a lot of players. And now you get to come home, play for York United in front of family and friends. How special is that? It's very special. I mean, my family comes all the time. I mean, when I score a goal, they, you know, they have the chance again. So, you know, that's actually very special to me. That's. You know, I never really had that feeling before, so you know, that's, that builds into my passion, you know, for the sport, but definitely a lot of my family comes out, relatives, distant relatives come out. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, I'm very, you know, happy to, you know, show them, you know, you know, the bloodline's still working. Do you like being compared to your dad? Or do you want to create a separation? No, I like being compared to my dad. I mean, I have no shame. My dad's a great, he's a, one of the greats. I don't mind being compared to that. You know, I have no shame, but I definitely want to, you know, make my own path. You know, within the comparison, you know, I am a De Rosario, so I can't shy away from being a De Rosario. I have to take it with both hands, but I am my own person. You know, I, I have my own goals, and I, and I have my own, you know, path. De Rosario! Out of nothing for the guests! So I'm curious what kind of dad you were when your kids you know, could put on cleats for the first time. Did you encourage them to get into soccer or were you one of those parents where you're like, nah, I live that life. You need to try something else. Well, I bought them the cleats oh. <laughs> to, to put on. And, um, you know, that's, you know, I, I was, I, I always wanted to be like my dad because my dad was always my hero. Um, so I always wanted to support their dreams. And, um, you know, obviously football and our family is a very a sport that's dear to us. Um, you know, my father played, mm -hmm. I played, my brothers played, and obviously when I had my children, um, I wanted them to embrace the sport as well. So of course, when they were able to walk, 
It's like instead of holding the ball, I'm like holding their body, their upper body, and throwing their foot to kick the ball. Like, no, you got to kick it, kick it. <laughs> and, um, you know, here we are today. The There's no greater feeling to know that my son's doing what he loves loves to do. Um, he's carrying on the legacy, and he's he's carving out his own path. Were you surprised when Adisa and Tanash came out as goalkeepers? Yeah, kind of. Um, I was I was uh, playing in DC at the time, and, and Adisa was was playing with um, uh, you know a team in Ashburn, and um, I went away for a, a long road trip. And he's been always asking me, he's, he's, and the coach like, you know, coach, can I go in net? And, and the coach came to me and goes, Adisa keeps asking me to go in net. Are you okay with it? I go, no, he's, keep, keep him up top, keep him up top. And, you know, I'm, I'm not going to brag on my son, but he, he, you know, when he was young, he understood the game, right? He understood, I got to put the ball in the net. So as for, once, a whist, when, once a whistle went, you know, at house league or grassroots, he just went straight to the goal and kept scoring. And I guess he got bored of that. Oh, yeah. So he saw the keeper diving and stuff, and he's like, you know, that looks more exciting. So when I went away, um, uh, his mom calls me and she says, uh, yeah, it's a decent play. And I'm like, okay, I'm like, okay, how'd he do? I'm waiting, like, how many goals he scored? You know, I'm like, okay, they won, nice, okay, great. Okay, how did Adisa do? Good, good, good. I'm like, okay, how many goals he scored? Yeah, about that. Um, he actually played net. So as soon as- He waited for you to leave. Yeah, oh, the coach was under pressure. So after that, you know, as they say, the rest was history. I knew that he, he, it, would, it would stick. And then we came to Toronto, um, and then he was just adamant. You know, Dad, I want to I want to try over to TFC, I wanna, but as goalkeeper, as goalkeeper. I go, she's so sure? So he said, yeah. So I, what I did, put him in the net, and I just started taking black, I was just started rifling shots and hoping that he would turn his back and be like, no, Dad, okay, I don't want to do this. But he's actually trying to save it. Huh? And I said, wait. So from that, that evening, I took him to get goalie gloves. I got goalie uniform, and then we started training him as a keeper, and that was it. And I said, okay, well, listen, I don't know much about goalies in terms of techniques, but I sure have a good idea how to score on them. So I started working with him and angles, and, you know, here we are today. Your dad shared a little story about how you wanted to be a goalkeeper so badly, but he wanted you to follow in his footsteps and play yeah. up front. But you were sneaky, uh, and you waited for him to go on a road trip before asking your coach to go in net. Uh, did you plan that? Um, well, he had his away games on the weekends, and I had my games, and there was nobody there to tell me what to do. So <laughs> I go to my coach, be like, put me in net. And my dad was trying to talk to my coach, like, oh, don't put him in net, don't put him in net. But I was eager to go in net, something I wanted to do, something I was interested in. Hmm. and. It ended up, ended up happening. He wasn't the happiest at, at the start. Uh, like we would go to the field to train. He, he would be shooting on me like, like he was in the game, like destroying <laughs> my confidence. Yeah. Destroying my confidence. <laughs> but I was, I was, I was trying. I was, I was trying. I was making those. I was trying to make those days. Well, when I was a little younger, it was a little harder. But he, I showed him that I actually was really interested in. Does the Dear Rosario name make you want to work harder? Um, I, it carries a lot of weight with for it, sure. you know, mm -hmm. as well, right? Like, what does the the name do for you and your work ethic? Well, it does. It does make me feel like I have, um, I have like some shoes to fill. Yeah. But other, other than that, it doesn't change anything. Work ethic, cha work ethic stays the same. You got to put in the work. To same with any other player on the field. The amount of work you put in is the amount you're gonna get out. So yeah. I feel like it doesn't change for anybody. With the last name or anything. Is there still a sense of pride? Um, I'm very happy to be a Di Rosario. Like, yeah. it's very special to me. I'm very happy that I have um, uh, soccer in my blood. And um, even my older brother, like, the one, like my closest people are, are doing the same thing as me and pushing me to do better, inspiring me. You retire, and we talk about you in this legacy format, right? What you've done again, pro Canadian team. But we still see your name out on the field. You can still look at a kit and see Di Rosario. How does that make you feel? Um, special, for sure. It, it, I'm grateful that people still appreciate uh, what I did for this city and this country. Um, I put my heart and soul into into 
into every game that I played. I never turned down a national team call up. Um, every time I played for TFC, the, the ultimate goal is always to win a championship and, and to bring success and notoriety to, 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 the, to the potential here. Um, one thing that when I came onto the, the, the national team, um, you know, I brought something different. I brought flair. You know, we were playing very direct soccer at the time, and my father always told me, play with flair, play with, play with um, you know, let your skills show. Right, and I've always wanted to do that, and I always wanted to represent that. So, to see my uniform and to see people still appreciating what I did um, makes me feel proud. Um, I think it makes my, my kids feel proud. But again, as I said earlier, uh, hopefully for them, it's it's just a it's just a sign of what potentially could be. And I think my kids have the ability to even take it to another step further if they continue to work hard and 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 um, stay focused. Ready? Yeah. There yeah. it is! That's gotta feel good. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> and that's where it begins, right there.